continue to move into some of the traditional equity mutual funds. Why do you think we're seeing that disparity? Well, you know, I think investors really uh, felt that they missed the boat. You know, as you and I talked about uh, several months back, um, investors uh, basically were just so gun shy of getting back into equities, and they started getting back in. And the issue is, you can't fight the Fed. We've been hearing that all over mainstream media, and it certainly is true. They've given people no other room to but to go into equity funds, which is what we're talking about: fixed income, spread products, taking it on the chin. Investors need some place to go, and so they've been doing that. It's really unique. This is a twenty. 25th week we've seen money coming into equity funds, longest run we've had in ages, by the way, and we'd have to go back to 1996 to get a longer run of money going into equity mutual funds, XETF. So this has been quite a change in investment pattern. Do you think that can continue through the third quarter here? I think we're going to see a slight continuation of that. Um, uh, unless we see something really drastic uh, you know, drastic in, in, in economics or, or, let's say, earnings reports that will be coming out, um, that's one of the things that people are keeping an eye on. I, I don't think the average investor is so much uh, into that schadenfreude uh, piece that we were just talking about, uh, where they're seeing the good news and, and, and getting scared by the good news. Um, I think investors are basically having no other place to go but into equities. And by the way, there is growth. There has been some good returns, even though we've had, again, 15 up and down days uh, in June that have been over 100 points. Uh, generally, the market has been pretty good. We're still up, you know, between 14.5 and 1,500 or 15,000 on the Dow, and the numbers are actually looking pretty good. So I think we'll see, see more equity fund investment. It's sort of odd, though. We're not really seeing it as much in domestic as we are in emerging markets, looking at your latest data. That is true, and we have been seeing this uh, phenomenon going on for quite some time. When we take a look at the data, really it's been quite lopsided. Uh, we had about $1.1 $1 .1 billion of net new money go into emerging market funds, and not just emerging market, but other international as well. Uh, but we only saw about, uh, you know, a little less than 300 uh, million uh, going into domestic equity funds. Um, and and uh, this is uh, something we've been seeing for quite some time, and I think this is because of the growth play. Even though we've seen China come in and revise their growth down to, you know, from the sevens to the high sixes, um, now we're seeing people saying at least it's growth, and so that's where people are putting their money into growth areas they think have a future to them over the next several years.